so sleep. Our next tale is entitled Silly Boy, written by Nicole Garrison and read by Ginny Sanders. Although I have plenty of stories of my own, today I'd like to share the story of a former friend of mine from a few years ago. A little bit of background on her. She was your typical young white woman being raised in a middle-class family. She lived in the last house of a cul-de-sac on an otherwise undeveloped hill. Her house had essentially burned down once before, and after they rebuilt and renovated, they were rewarded with a splendid house of six bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a large circular staircase that curved about a chandelier in the foyer. She lived with her parents and her brother, Jerry. Her other brother and family lived just down the street, and she often watched his two children. She was in the kitchen cooking one day, talking to her mother who was lounging in the dining room, when they heard her three-year-old nephew laughing hysterically from the foyer. Now, her nephew has always been an uncharacteristically silent child, and to hear him laughing so jovially had their curiosity piqued. Her mother was the one to lean back in her chair so she could see him down the hallway. He apparently had a marble in his tiny hands, and had rolled it under Uncle Jerry's bedroom door. The door was locked, and Jerry wasn't home at the time, according to my friend. She goes on to tell me that her mother was in the process of standing to retrieve the marble, and promptly sat back down, a shocked look on her face. The marble apparently rolled back from under the door, right into her nephew's hands. When this happened, he erupted into giggles. This happened a few times, and neither my friend nor her mother were courageous enough to broach the topic until the next day. They approached her nephew and asked him what he was doing the other day. He replied, Oh, I was just playing with my friend. But there couldn't have been anyone there. As previously stated, the room was locked up and unoccupied. They pried, asking who his friend was. His name is Silly Boy, and he lives on the hill. Having had previous situations involving homeless on the hill, and fearing someone had invaded their home, they continued their questions. The nephew, I'm assuming, became tired of the conversation because he simply replied, He's my age, but he doesn't have a name anymore, so I call him Silly Boy because he looks so silly. My friend asked him why he would say such a thing about his new friend. Her nephew responded, Auntie, he looks silly because he has no face 